All right, uh, let's look at the practice exam one, problem number seven. All right, so we have to use the limit definition to find the derivative of uh, one over x minus three. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so remember that the derivative, definition of the derivative is f prime of x is equal to, I'm gonna write down the definition first. Uh, so you have a limit as uh, h approaches zero. Then you have uh, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, right? All right, so I'm going to use this formula to rewrite that. So uh, using the function notation, so I'm going to take care of this limit later. So I'm going to just write down limit as h approaches 0, all right? Then we have f of x plus h, right? So what we do is whenever you see x in the formula, we're going to replace it uh, by x plus h, right? So we're going to get the 1 over, right? Now we see x, right? Now x becomes x plus h. Then you have a minus 3, right? Then you have a minus, right? You have f of x, so it's going to be 1 over, uh, x minus 3, right? Then all over h, right? And then uh, next step would be, right, so you can actually plug in uh, h equals 0 and see what happens. And if you do that, you see that the denominator is going to approach 0, right? Then if you plug in 0, you have 1 over x minus 3 minus the same thing. So the whole numerator right here uh, approaches 0 as well, all right? So 0 over 0, you cannot stop, and you cannot write that as an answer because it's never correct, all right? So what you need to do is we have to um, uh, simplify and maybe find the common factors so that we can cancel them out. So uh, limit as h approaches 0. All right, so I'm going to a common denominator. So you have two fractions. I'm going to put them together. So a common denominator would be just the uh, product of the denominators. So you have x plus uh, h minus 3 times x minus 3, right? So we are taking a common denominator, right? So since uh, we multiply x plus h minus 3 by x minus 3, we have to uh, multiply the numerator by x minus 3. So 1 times x minus 3 is, of course, x minus 3. So that's the same as the first fraction. Right? Then we have to subtract. Right? So we multiply x minus 3 by quantity x plus h minus 3. So we're going to have to multiply 1 by x, uh, x, x plus h minus 3. So you're going to have x plus h minus 3, right? Then it's all over h. All right, then you can cancel things. Uh, looks like you have uh, x here minus x. You can cancel that. And you have a negative 3 minus negative 3, right? You can cancel those then uh, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, you can see that uh, there's a negative sign left over here and uh, also h here, right? Then we can actually cancel here. We're dividing by h, right? So if you cancel, a negative h divided by h is going to give you negative 1. So I'm going to scratch this and then put the negative 1 on top, right? So if you clean it up, you're going to get this, all right? I'm going to just to finish the limit later. So you have a limit as h approaches 0, all right? So all we have left is a negative 1 on top, and the denominator is uh, x plus h minus 3 times quantity x minus 3, all right? Then uh, we can let h go to 0. So here, uh, this h goes to zero, so it basically goes away. So what you get is going to be, so you have a negative one on top, right? So you have x minus three times itself. So I'm gonna write it as a quantity x minus three squared, right? 
So this is the derivative of the given function uh, f of x. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.